Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Blank Check here, and today we are back with Kill Me Tupaza, which I am very excited for. I featured him on this channel once before with his crazy alternate universe timeline with different view of history and a different view of reality. If you have not seen his animations, I would recommend it because different view of reality is still one of my favorite fan works of this year. Plus, it would be important because this is a reaction to Different Life of Guardian, which is a spin-off to that series according to the description. I'm interested because it's a Kill Me Too Positive video, I'm interested because it's part of that series, but I'm really interested because it's a first-person animation. That's something you do not see very often. It poses limitations, but also potential possibility. It requires some very deliberate camera work, some novel angles, and you lose that omniscient point of view. You see what the character sees, which limits your knowledge as a viewer, but also potentially makes it a more personal experience. This is a very rare occurrence, and I hope he pulls it off. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's see through the eyes of a guardian. Alright, first person animation. With some neat music. Different life of Guardian. Ooh, this is some enchanting music. And dragonflies. Oh. Oh god, we're taking control. Alright. Wow, that mayor moves fast. I think it's a mayor. Yeah, I'm gonna say mayor. It's a pretty OC. <laughs> Alright, let's squeeze into the cave. Hope there's no giant bear. Oh, boo! Ooh, kiss. Uh, letter, sir. He's a guardian, so I guess he's being called the... Uh, excuse me, sir. Keep your eyes on the prize. That lady is really neat. She's a katana. I like the, the hair of this OC. The girlfriend, I guess? Very, uh... Matches with the, the woods theme. Oh, Velvet Calamity, I see you there. Big Mac Sugar Bell. This is a good party. He's got cupcakes and wine. That's what every party should have. It's a very wild hairstyle. Nice camouflage. Wow! That's spinning animation. That was smooth. I like that. She's enamored by all the sights, apparently. Okay, that is a really unique angle. I have not seen that on ponies before. I'll take it. Okay. Oh, wee! Oh, I thought she was gonna disappear. Oh, hello, hi. You're not uh. Oh. Duh. Please, no adultery in this video. Excuse me, ma'am. What? Oh no! Um, what is happening? Yeah, save her from whatever futuristic place this is. There's a lock behind bars. Did we imprison this guy before? This little gesture there. Oh crap, oh crap. No, girlfriend. You're so cute. Yeah, screw that guy. Okay. Big Cliff. Oh, this guy can make wings, I guess? That's his talent. Oh, was that a scene from the, the last video? Oh no, save her. Oh no. Oh no, is he gonna give her his wings? Oh no! Crap! I... Wow, okay. Continue. 
Do I have to insert a quarter? That was... that was rough. That was really neat. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. Oh, new first person! Oh! <laughs> Bam, ouch, ooh. Ooh, ouch. Um... Heroes never die. What? Okay. Thanks, Mercy. I like that design a lot, but I... What just happened? I think everyone lived. He sacrificed his, his wings, and then she super sped up and landed pretty rough, but then Mercy came and rezzed both of us. Uh... All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was Different Life of Guardian from Kill Me Tupaza. It was awesome and a bit confusing, which fits his MO. Great animation and really cool music from DXer. Firstly, let's go over what just happened, my takeaways after rewatching and reading some comments. This presumably happens after a different view of reality, considering the flashback of the main character's significant other healing a soldier on the field, who was a Pegasus, so it's not our protagonist. Our main character is presented tickets to a Canterlot Gala, perhaps given by the villain. While dancing, he's distracted by another mayor, who may or may not be in cahoots with the bad guy, that's not clear. While the villain kidnaps his mayor friend. In the flashback with the lock, it appears that the villain was imprisoned by our protagonist in the past and escaped, seeking revenge in a somewhat Monte Cristo inspired setup. He drops the mayor, our protagonist follows after her, and we see his magic at work. Where, in this alternate universe of Kill Me Tupaza, Pony's magical abilities are linked to their personal elements, so it's not a spell that just any pony can learn. I guess he can only manifest one pair of wings at a time, or he was under duress, so he sacrifices himself for his love, but she maintains the wherewithal to swoop down and grab him for a rough landing. She attempts to heal him but is too injured herself, and then a wild mercy appears, I think that's the gist of it, some questions are left open. This was a really interesting animation with a unique atmosphere and an even more unique perspective. It's got to be one of the cooler things I've seen as of late. And though the first person maybe doesn't work 100% all the time, it's a very well done effort and better work than I would expect from a lot of animators. Kill Me Tupaza has a limited time to work with, but he uses the beginning to set up the relationship fairly well. It helps that the Marrow C has a pretty nice design. The video tells a story that's maybe a bit confusing up front, but it actually comes together alright. The cameos are nice, I like seeing Velvet and Calamity dance, and I believe that was Jasmine from Aladdin in the background? I still love Kill Me Tupaz's character designs, and this just proves that they're great to look at from all angles. Don't take that out of context. And once again, the music by DXer is really well done, and Kill Me Tupaza did a great job mapping the animation to it. He's put out some marvelous work lately, and I can't wait to see what comes next. Thank you for this standout animation. And thank you everyone else for watching. Until next time, remember. Baby, I'd give up my wings for you.